tonight on NBC and Peacock. All right, well, the year's biggest stars flock to Barker Hangar for the 29th Annual Critics' Choice Awards, and it should be no surprise who the big winner was. Sam Rubin has a full recap in today's entertainment report. The Critics' Choice Award goes to Oppenheimer. The movie about the atomic bomb was the bomb. Christopher Nolan's film dominated the award show, taking Best Picture, Best Director for Christopher Nolan, and Best Supporting Actor for Robert Downey Jr. And the critic's choice is Emma Stone. A gracious Emma Stone accepted the award for Best Actress for her performance in Poor Things. I caught up with her and the film's director, backstage. Uh, two of you have had wonderful success together before, but this is daunting. Did you th think for a moment or two, gee, this is a big ask, I don't know. Oh no, I was begging him to get to do it. It wasn't the other way around. Um, no, we had we had worked together on The Favorite and, and we started talking about this right after and it was a, a long period of it, you know, us discussing it and then it coming to fruition. Actor Paul Giamatti took home the award for Best Actor. Paul Giamatti, the this is Giamatti's second film with director Alexander Payne, and one he says was a personal endeavor to make. I also spoke to him after his big win. It was a joyous thing to make. I got to make it with a friend of mine. After 20 years, we got to make a movie together again. And I, the whole story was very personal to me, too, because I come from a family of teachers. I went to a school like that. So it all feels very deep for me, this movie, in, in, in really nice ways. To television and several big winners on the TV side of things, with Succession winning Best Drama Series. Succession. Sarah Snook and Kieran Culkin took home the Best Actress and Actor Awards for their work on the show. Television awards are split up by genre. Succession swept all the awards for drama, and it was Bear that took home the big award for comedy. The Bear! The Bear! And its stars, Ayo Adebari and Jeremy Allen White, took home the top honors for their work on the show. And Ebon Moss Backrack won in the supporting category. In limited series, another complete sweep Beef taking home the award for Best Limited Series, Steven Yoon Best Actor, Ali Wong Best Actress, and Maria Bello took home the Best Supporting Actress Award for her work in the Netflix series. Barbie also took home the Critics' Choice Award for Best Comedy Movie. All right, and it looks like history was made last night. Madison Marsh made history as the first ever military member to represent Miss America. She was crowned with the title while representing the state of Colorado, which is where she's currently based, and she's the second lieutenant in the Air Force. Now, the Emmy Awards were also held last night. Fun. The Bear TV show, which I know Jessica loves to watch, <laughs> won Best Comedy Series. But Netflix's comedy drama Beef and HBO's hit series Succession were the biggest winners of the evening, with Succession winning for Best Drama Series. Again, Sarah Snook won for Best Lead Actress in Succession, and Kieran Culkin took home his award for Lead Actor in the Program. And the Emmy goes to... <laughs> And the Emmy goes to Elton John Live. Farewell from Dodger Stadium. Sir Elton John is now an EGOT winner. The singer won for Outstanding Variety Special for his live show called Elton John Live. Farewell from Dodger Stadium. Now, Sir Elton John was not there to receive his award as he's recovering from a knee operation. So Ben Winston, one of the producers for the special, accepted John's award on the singer's behalf. And this means that Sir Elton John is only the 19th person ever to receive an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award. Jessica, that is quite an honor, don't you think? I can't even <laughs> imagine that. I mean, uh, well-deserved, so. I you know. know. I <laughs> when I think Elton John, I'm sorry, I gotta say this, I think of uh, Can You Feel the Love Tonight from The Lion King. <laughs> what do you think of? Song. It's a great song. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Is there anything that comes to mind when you think of him? Probably that Ever. one. That's the best one. That was great. Oh I know. My but he's done so many great works. Yeah. So. Did you stay up and watch this last night? You know, I did not. Okay, I was curious. It was cold. I didn't either. Yeah, I just was like snuggled up in bed. I know. I think a lot of people <laughs> might have ended up going to bed early last night. It was so cold. I know. I know. And you know what? I actually slept with the fan on. I don't know why. I did too. Okay. Did you do it on purpose? Yeah. I always sit with the fan on. You're brave, even in the cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like just the sound, I think. Yeah. So I have to sleep with that I get you, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I did too. It wasn't too bad. I woke up and I'm like, okay, let's do this. Let's brave the cold. Let's go out there. And I did not have power on last night, so that kind of was 
a little, you know, a little bummer. I hope that it comes <laughs> back on quickly. I know that, you um, uh, you know, I, I can't forecast whether or not people are going to lose power, so I never Why do not? stuff like I'm that. Just kidding. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but hopefully, a lot of people do still have power going into this I morning. Know. This morning and tomorrow morning are our last two really cold ones, and then okay. we'll be back to normal uh, here in the valley. Yeah. So we're like. <laughs> <laughs> about halfway through our cold spell hey the arctic air that's fine you know it's it's totally fine by me i'm missing the sun but i will i will be okay <laughs> and hopefully we will get some sunshine later today but right now we are looking at pretty cloudy skies out there um we did see a little bit of precip earlier precipitation i could not tell if it was a freezing rain or uh, regular old rain. Right now on radar, it's a little bit difficult to see because whatever we did see earlier was difficult to see as well. It's just so light and so few and far between. Right now, according to radar, I don't see any issues in terms of any precipitation, but with what we received earlier and even what we received yesterday that didn't evaporate, I know that I still saw some, some watery, some wet sidewalk.